our iPhone 15 and 16 now has AI. And I'm gonna share with you guys all the cool features, the futuristic features that I actually use to be productive. All right, check this out. What's up guys, Myung from Camera to Freedom. If you guys use your camera to take photos and videos and make YouTube content so that you can live a life of freedom like how I'm trying to do, hit that like and subscribe and let's go. There's a lot of cool AI features like the Genmoji, how you can just create your own Genmojis and also how you can create your fantasy illustration just by text, but I don't use that too often. But there are features that I actually use that I definitely recommend. So first off, ChatGPT. So now when you talk to Siri, it combines it with ChatGPT. Siri isn't as complex as ChatGPT is, but if Siri can't answer it, it asks you if it wants to go to ChatGPT. And first off, I think that you should just take that prompt out save you a little step because every time it asks you, do you want me to go to ChatGPT? You have to say yes. Just let it be a one process. So first off, let's activate ChatGPT and let's check out that prompt. So go into your setting and then scroll down to Apple Intelligence and make sure your Apple Intelligence is on. Scroll down to ChatGPT and then make sure you have ChatGPT turned on. Uncheck confirm ChatGPT requests so that way it'll just go straight into ChatGPT if Siri can't answer it. I feel like we don't have any excuse on not having our own business. I mean, you work your nine to five, security, insurance, yes, that is very important, but at the same time on the side, definitely create a business. I mean, literally, I know people that sells cupcakes. I know people that, you know, I, I do photography and video for companies and weddings and family portraits and things like that. And I got friends who does just the smallest of business. So you don't have to have a big corporation that you build. You don't have to actually have a store if you do amazing, of course, but you can literally make extra sign money by just doing little extra jobs because there's gonna be somebody that needs what you have. The skill that you have, your passion, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna purchase what you wanna do. So for example, let's ask ChatGPT just by pushing the side button right over here. How do I start a photography business? To start a photography business, conduct market research, choose a niche, develop a business plan, decide on equipment, select a business name, set up legal and insurance frameworks, establish a brand and online presence, network, set a pricing model, manage finances, and focus on marketing and promotion. One of the cool features about this AI is that you don't have to keep asking the questions. Like when I was asking questions about uh, how to start a photography business, then I could go straight into asking it, how do I market? Uh, what kind of cameras should I get? Uh, what are some of the techniques and so on? So I don't actually have to ask the question all over again. You could talk to it as if you are talking to your own coach, your own professor, a friend. We actually are living in the future right now. With your phone, you could have full-on conversations, whether you wanted to t uh, have it tell you jokes for the day. And one of my favorite things is ask it to give you some recommendations on the social media reels that you should create today. Anything that you want to learn, you could ask it and it will tell you, which is absolutely crazy, right? Because when I was young, we were going to libraries and hoping that they had books or VHS tape videos, and it's so difficult to learn. To learn Photoshop, I had to actually take a full six months course to learn a basic fundamental of Photoshop, which was crazy, where nowadays you could learn the basic in a matter of hours right on YouTube, right on your phone, as ChatGPT. So it tells you there's no excuse now. You literally could learn everything and anything right from your phone. In case you're wondering about this iPhone 16 Pro Max phone case, it's absolutely one of the very best phone case from MacBook Elite. So first off, inside has microfiber protection so it doesn't scratch your phone. And all MacBook phone cases have a strong MagSafe magnet that's around it, and it is super strong. It has a bottom USB-C cover. There's also a groove that you could use so that when you're holding the phone, it doesn't fall down, right? It has grooves on the side so you get a stronger grip. It also has a ring. It pops out, you could hold on to it, and then when you're done, it just tucks in and keeps it flat. There's a groove in there so it keeps it flat. It also has a kickstand that allows you to place your iPhone in three different positions. And then it has a little magnet on top that it pops back on. So I got the discount code link below. And if you do buy from me, thank you so very much for your support. Our iPhone now has an ability to point to an item or anything and then ask your phone what to do with it, <laughs> right? So for example. Siri, how do I take care of this plant? This looks like a fiddle leaf fig. 
known for its large, glossy leaves. It thrives in bright, indirect sunlight and requires watering. You could point to an item like this camera, for example, and ask it, how do I use this? Where can I buy it? Where can I buy it at the lowest price? Just any magical questions that you have, you could literally point and ask it and it will tell you. It is so insane. You have the whole information of the world right at your fingertip. So going back to ChatGPT, write a story about a dog and a cat going on an adventure trying to find their owners, and in the end, they find their owner. Here's an answer from ChatGPT. You, so you could hold it and copy that story. So this is how you make money, right? So this is one easy way to make money, creating children's book on Amazon for free, right on your desk, right where you're at, right where you're sitting right now. You could literally make books quickly, and then you could sell it on Amazon. And then you could ask ChatGPT on how to market and advertise it, how to apply for an Amazon a program where you could sell books. After you copy your phone's story, you open up the notepad. Okay, let's create a whole new one. And then you could simply paste it. And then it tells you a little story. Now it's a children's book, so the story is short and that's perfect. So one thing cool about a phone, you could create art just by description, which is so crazy. So let's say I got all this dog and cat story, right? I'm gonna create a cover. So you go come down right over here, you select your pencil icon, and then you just put a circle on the bottom, and then you type in dog and cat going on adventure. Look at that, look how cool that is. That is insane. And then it gives you different images, and if you don't like it, you could keep asking it to create images until it comes up with something that you like. So literally in every page, you could create an image by giving it a description and you could have an image on one side of the book and text on the other side of the book, create a short little story. And of course, I definitely want you to go back to the story and change it uh, to your taste, right? I want you to, <laughs> they named the dog Sparky and Whiskers. Just like how a Word document is, you could change the Sparky to a different name and just do it at one time, uh, Whiskers to a different name, change it all at one time and just do some changes, and then you could you could save it as a PDF. You go to the share button on top, and then you open this up in markup, and then markup allows you to export this out on PDF. Then you save to files. Now you have a PDF document that you could upload to Amazon, and then have them create the book, and then you sell it from there. So it's just a fun little way of making some side cash. Some people are very successful by doing this, and I definitely recommend giving it a shot, it's fun. If anything, you just created a kid's book out of thin air in a matter of minutes, which is insane. So our iPhone AI has the ability to change your message. If you're writing an email to, let's say your boss, or you're writing a love letter, or you are just writing a story, and anything, you're just, you're just writing. And you could tell your phone to, for example, let's go ahead and highlight this. Let's say I wrote this little message right here, and then you could click on the little magic pencil tool right over here, and then this little menu pops up. If you wrote it yourself, you could have it proofread it. So normally you get an editor to proofread your books. Now you could have your phone just proofread it for you, which is absolutely insane. You could have it rewrite it. If you don't like the way um, your phone wrote that paragraph or wrote your email or your message, you could have them rewrite it, and then it'll figure it out, AI, and then it changes the story. So it has all this ability for you to write email and it'll just create a perfect message. Because I mean, let's be honest, like if, if English isn't your first language, then you might need help writing to, let's say a job letter, right? A job ap application, or you need to write a script. I use this for my video production. Sometimes I need a script and I use ChatGPT to help me write a script, rewrite it. And if I wrote it myself, then I have it, you know, rewrite it for me and just kind of proofread it for me. And it's, it is so helpful. Everything that you need for your productivity is right at your fingertip, which is actually insane. All right, guys, so I do have more tutorials on iPhones. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like the video and I will see you next time.